Gamers, the day has come. We are finally saying goodbye to Sunset City and Lambton. Sunset City, home of jetpacks, trick shots, and of course, home to all of us insanely sweaty gamers that never take showers. And good old Lambton, home of the OG Farlight 84 players, the first map, so many memories, and also home of the people that grind bot lobbies hardcore to get up on leaderboards. Yeah, I see you. Welcome to a new video, guys. Today, a short talk about what is happening to Sunset City and Lambton, and some more insight on why they will be temporarily removed. So, let's talk about Lambton first. Lambton is sort of the OG map, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have never played this map or don't even realize it exists. How come? This is the OG map of Farlight 84 and even before the jetpack removal, this map was not very popular at all and most of the time you get put into bot lobbies. Hell, most of the times you would even get a bot on your team, which I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not sure why this should be possible. Before the jetpack removal, you already had to rely on cars a lot in this map. Basically, the areas are so open that you always wanted to be driving or flying to wherever you want to go next. After the jetpack removal, this has become even worse. With the cars changing for the worse in the game and no more jetpacks, basically you can get caught out easily and it's not even a matter of skill gap. The areas are so open, the hills are very high up and with no decent movement or vehicles, the map has actually become unplayable and not enjoyable. On top of that, the loot pool on this map is terrible. You could be looking for decent guns for 10 minutes and still not find anything. It's for these exact reasons that the map will be taken out of the game and will need a rework. But this rework will have to be major. I imagine we will need more buildings, covers, loot boxes, but even the terrain will need to be changed. We also have to keep in mind that this needs to be done with vehicles changes in mind as well. Basically the lantern that we used to know will undergo major changes for more cover, more loot and more traversable terrain. Will you guys miss Lambton? I had some good times playing on this map when I just started playing the game and I'm curious to see what the developers will do with this map. I do hope they keep the desert wasteland kind of vibe because that was a nice change of visuals compared to Sunset City or Sunder Realms. Sunset City is the map where most of us started their Firelight 84 adventure. Sunset has gone over changes in the past. I mean, this map was pretty much built around jetpacks. If you've played Sunset City without jetpacks, then you know how much of a struggle the map is when you're not not playing any movement characters like Maggie or Ducky. Getting on top of buildings, rooftops, or any sort of high ground is literally impossible. And if you dare cross an open area, you will die very, very fast. So what kind of changes can we expect here? While the loot pool in Sunset City is not that bad, it is still worse if you compare it to Sunder Realms. I expect to see more loot within buildings, but also more loot boxes like we have on the new map. Areas like Tin Man Industries and Sunflower Mall are probably going to get more stairs or zip lines so that other characters can also get on high ground without jetpacks. What about the water areas on Sunset City? Water with jetpacks was already very deadly, and now that we don't have jetpacks anymore, I feel like a new mechanic would be very nice to have here. The easy option would be to add zip lines across certain points around rivers or to simply use bridges. But what if we could actually get an option to surf over the water with a board or even slide over the water? We also need to talk about the red zones. I'm not sure if the devs have any plans of changing the red zones in Sunset City and Lambton, but I honestly think something cooler could be done here. A while ago, I made a community post where I talked about a map concept, and rather than having red zones, it would have elemental surges. I think something similar could be done for Sunset City, with an actual sun element that can produce a heat effect on certain areas of the map. What if these areas would actually cause a fierce and fast combat area? You can think of things like fast healing within this area, extra movement speed, no gravity effects, super sliding, and so much more. But don't stay too long. That much heat cannot be good for anyone. I really hope they bring back Sunset City in its full glory and still keep the point of interest that we all loved, like Carnival, Tin Man Industries, Riverview Park, Sunflower Mall, and so much more. But given that these maps are being taken away, this also means that in the upcoming patch, we can only play Sunder Realms. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Personally, I've pretty much only played Sunder Realms since the 2.0 update, and I think it's fine. I'm super excited about the next patch, guys. We have an optimized map, jet slide, new hero, and plenty quality of life changes. Farlight 84 is on its path of redemption, and I can see people come back again. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, much love.